Hi, this is Bob Day, Director of Customer Service at San Jose Water Company. It's no secret that our local water supplies are stretched, and we need to do everything we can to use water efficiently. Taking measures to conserve water at home not only saves you money, but it's great for the environment and the community. Here are the top 10 things you can do to save water at home. Number one, check for leaks. That means your toilets, faucets, pipes, and irrigation system. Even a small drill can waste 20 gallons per day. Larger leaks can waste hundreds, if not thousands. Use your water meter to check for hidden leaks. Read the meter before and after a two hour period when no water is being used. If the meter doesn't read exactly the same, there is likely a leak. Number two, install water saving devices. That includes low flow shower heads and faucet aerators. We can give them to you free of charge and even install them if you'd like. Consider low flow toilets, which could reduce indoor water use by as much as 30%. The Santa Clara Valley Water District has rebates available on some models. Number three, take shorter showers. You've been hearing about this one for years and yes, taking shorter showers saves a lot of water but sometimes you may have extenuating circumstances. Number four, turn it off. There really is no need to keep the water running while brushing your teeth or shaving. Number five, don't use the toilet as a wastebasket. Every time you flush a facial tissue or other trash, you're just wasting water. That's what garbage cans are for. Number six, use full loads. It's possible you can take this one to the extreme, but these appliances are built to handle full loads. And most makers of dishwashing soap recommend not pre-rinsing dishes, which is a big water savings. The Santa Clara Valley Water District has rebates available for residential washing machines. While I'm thinking of it, stop using your garbage disposal and compost instead. Number seven, keep a bottle of drinking water in the fridge, or more than one, and chilled water out of a glass bottle is delicious. Number eight, be water wise in your yard. This includes your shrubs as well as lawn. Many beautiful shrubs and plants thrive with far less water than you might think. Check out the San Jose Water Company Water Efficient Garden at the northeast corner of Bascom and San Carlos in San Jose. Put a layer of mulch around trees and plants. This slows the evaporation of moisture while discouraging weed growth. Number nine. Fine-tune your irrigation system. For the lawn, avoid watering during the heat of the day or when it's windy. Make sure your system is in good shape. Broken or damaged sprinkler heads are really bad news. Make sure your sprinklers are aimed at the lawn, not the gutter. Number 10, use common sense. Think about what you're doing. Just the simple things like using a spray nozzle when rinsing your car or a broom instead of a hose to wash down the driveway or sidewalks. All of this adds up to a lot of water savings. If you'd like help in using water more efficiently, just call us for a complimentary water audit. Just call the number listed on the screen. Thanks for watching. I wish you all the best. And remember, slow the flow, save H2O. Longtime San Dimas resident Sherry King needs no convincing about the serious nature of California's drought. It's sad because we drive up the street and we can see our hills. They're not green, they're brown. You know, we don't get enough rain. Sherry and her family decided long ago to be a part of the solution, converting their yard to drought tolerant landscaping. 
Scattered around this region of Los Angeles County, there are growing examples of this type of conservation. Welcome news to Governor Jerry Brown, who issued a drought declaration in 2014 that urged Californians to scale back their water use by 20 percent. When the governor says everyone in California needs to save water, I think it's, it speaks to everyone. How serious is it? California is enduring its fourth straight year of serious drought conditions. Snowpack in the Sierra, which can account for a third of the state's water supply in a normal year, is extremely thin due to minimal storms and warmer temperatures. Water users are drawing down existing water supplies both in above-ground reservoirs and below-ground aquifers. It is alarming. Golden State Water Resources Manager and Chief Hydrogeologist Toby Moore says the dry conditions seen at this reservoir on the edge of the Angeles National Forest have led to wells drying up, seawater intrusion along the coast, lower water quality, even sinking of the land itself as underground supplies shrink. It's why Golden State officials note they've made proactive water planning such a priority. We've really put in a lot of investment to ensure that we have these supplies. Because of the prolonged drought, it's going to take some time to replenish our supplies and even average or above average rainfall and snowpack for one to three years may not get us there. It's why water agencies like Golden State emphasize the importance of water use efficiency in an effort to develop a new mindset. As far as the drought is concerned, it's a new norm. I think we have to understand that we're not going to have the same water supplies that we did in the past. A lot of residential customers don't realize how much water they're using to water their landscapes. Um, statewide, it ranges between 50 and 80 percent, depending on the size of the landscape. Golden State and its partners offer programs and incentives to help customers improve water use efficiency. They vary by community, but can include landscape turf removal, low water use landscaping, smart irrigation equipment. Indoors, the company recommends fixing leaks and replacing inefficient fixtures, operating only full loads when washing clothes and dishes, and installing low-flow shower heads and toilets. Every bill that a customer gets will remind them to save water. Customers can also report water waste in their neighborhoods online or by phone. Experts know that changing habits takes time and work. Back in San Dimas, Sherry King knows that well. Changing her landscape, she says, was a smart move. She hopes others will follow. It totally changed my whole outlook on it. It's, it's definitely better. I am there in the morning when you're not thinking about me. I am a part of your routine time and time again. I am part of a process that begins in nature that holds me to the highest standards. I am water and I've come a long way to be here for you. So use water wisely. It's essential.